Hello, and welcome to your next tutorial. Let me just uh, move that aside. Let me make sure that I am recording. Okay, I'm recording. Um, in this tutorial, we want to begin by drawing some objects onto the screen. Um, it is very easy to do compared to regular OpenGL commands. I'm going to show you how we do it. So, let me explain something real fast. The library um, takes an object-oriented approach to drawing things onto the screen. So we're going to be using vertex objects, quads, and triangles as objects and classes to send the information to the GPU um, or OpenGL or whatever you want to call it. Declaring a vertex and triangle object is very simple and I will outline how to do that right now. All you'd have to do is say vertex. It's going to be a pointer, and the reason for that I will explain later. Um, vertex 1. We're going to name another one vertex 2. Vertex 3. Um, and just do just new vertex. Just new vertex and equals new vertex. In fact, if you wanted to, you could write it like this. And if you wanted to be very fancy, you could write as vertex pointer, which is the same thing as this, only it's a pointer. And I mean, you could write vertex pointer right here, and it looks a little cleaner. If you want, I actually think I'll do that instead. Realize that it's a pointer to a vertex object. Nothing else is different. So once you have that, you want to specify the um, parameters in here. Because the constructors take initial parameters. They take three. They take an x value, a y value, and a z value. We're just going to make this simple for now. So... like so, oops, okay, once you have that, you have to specify a color object, so it's going to be very easy, color pointer, and the same as red, equals new color, and just like the vertex object, this takes three parameters, it takes a red, a green and a blue. Blue. Since this is going to be red, we're going to make this 1.0. And basically, what this is, is this is saying 100% red. Not one red. This means 100% red, 0% red, and 0% red. You can't have 200% red. And the reason for that is because when you have ambient lighting and stuff, if you set to 200% red, that means that initially, without ambient lighting, it'll just be the same as 100. So if you have ambient lighting on, then if you had two colors, red and color pointer extreme red or something like that, and you had this 2.0 instead, if you have ambient lighting that dims the color, this will be two times brighter than this. But if your ambient lighting is the same, this will not do anything. It'll just be treated as one. Once you have that, you want to finally make your triangle object. And we're seeing this triangle equals new triangle. We're so happy we're making the triangle. Vertex 1, vertex 2, and we would guess vertex 3 and red. What this is doing is, this is basically saying we're making a new triangle, and the vertices are going to be drawn in order from vertex 1 to vertex 2 to vertex 3, and on top of that, we're saying that the triangle is going to be red. Very confusing stuff, I know. Once you have that, you can go down and you can substitute test draw with draw triangle. And, very fancy name, triangle. If you build that, and if you get another an error, we shouldn't get an error. We get no errors and no warnings. 
you try to run that, you will notice it doesn't come up. The reason for that is because these are all the same coordinates. So let's just change it up a little. Let's make some random coordinates. You don't need to be anything in particular. Something like that should do. And if you do that, you should notice, again, our triangle doesn't show up. The reason for that is because our camera is sitting at 0z, zero, 0x zero and 0y. Zero so if we have it on the z, you know, 0, 0 plane, it's being drawn, we just can't see it. So we're going instead, set these to 5. Actually, we're going to set these to negative half. So that will be drawn correctly. And if everything goes correctly, you should have a triangle, maybe not. Let me try that, maybe it'll run correctly for once. Oh. Huh. Hold on, let me go figure out what, what the problem is. I am back, and the reason why it wasn't working is because we had a half. Turns out that the triangle was so far off the screen, it wasn't being drawn. So just set this to 2, 2, and 2 and a half. And if you run, you will notice a triangle being drawn on your screen. Because this is running at full screen mode, it is well um, in full screen mode. You could go ahead and make some really crazy triangles. You know that of course this can be more than that these can be more than one and less than zero. So if I do that and that and maybe a little bit of that, watch and learn is gonna be something very cool and interesting. It's a little bit on the far side. Let's change that to positive one. And you see you get some really interesting triangle. Just because we're playing around, we don't actually have to worry about the coordinates. Now, let's say we wanted to, um, oh, and one more thing. If you wanted to, you could play around the, with the colors. You can make something interesting like that. You're going to get a tan, tannish, um, coconut type. You know, just have fun around, you know, play around with the colors. Let's say we wanted instead um, something like that. You know, some random colors to see what we get. And we get some really cool green. Okay, once you have that, if you, let's say, you wanted to make a square, you could do that. And instead of declaring a triangle pointer, all you have to do is declare a quad pointer and quad and it's going to take five parameters it's going to take another vertex like that um, I'm going to go ahead and make mine a uniform square I'll show you what that means in one second Okay, so basically what we're doing is we're making a corner up here, and then down here, and then down here, and down here. Watch what happens. Your square, oh yeah. One more thing, you have to do instead of draw triangle, you have to do draw quad. And since our quad is still named triangle for some reason, we'll just do that. And watch and learn. Boom. You have a square drawn. Looks very awesome. In the next tutorial, we'll be handling with textures. Very fun. <laughs> Actually, you will, I'm sure you will probably very much enjoy textures as it's very easy to do compared to regular OpenGL calls. And until the next tutorial, I will see you later.